uh, this game, Grobot, is actually a game that I had when I was a kid, and there's no information about this game out there. And unfortunately, I um, don't have the manual for the game anymore because I sold it on eBay years and years and years ago. Wish I didn't do that, but too late now. Uh, I was able to find a copy of the cassette, fortunately. And this game is part of a series of games from CCW, which was like Creative Children's Workshop or something, and they were more aimed to be sort of an educational type kind of game. And you can kind of tell from the loading time here, uh, this was a game that loaded off cassette, and boy does it take a long time. You had to be super patient back then. That was probably uh, the educational part, was just learning how to be patient. So in this game, Grobot, your goal is to pick as many blooms as you can. Use your joystick to move the Grobot left and right or up and down between plants. Press the red action button to pick a bloom. Watch out for astronauts and verms. So there's these plants that grow up from the bottom. And when they get to the top, there's blooms that come up on top of them. And you have to collect these blooms. If you wait too long, a, a astronaut will start to eat it. And while that's going on, occasionally a verm, which is a big worm, will come along the bottom and start eating a random plant. And you sort of have to quickly collect these blooms and kill these verms. Anytime a gnat or a verm eats one of your plants, you lose points. Anytime you collect a bloom, you gain points and there's a time limit on the game. All right, and in the manual, uh, at least I would assume, it's been so long I can't remember, so I'm, I'm kind of just making an assumption, but I believe there was statistics for these different types of plants. You see, it says choose your plants, and you can use your arrow keys to choose your different plants, and there's a forecast for the planet that you're on. So today's forecast is hot and dry. And depending on how many criteria your plant meets with the forecast will depend on how fast it grows. So if it meets two of the criteria, it grows quickly. If it meets one of the criteria, it grows average. And if it doesn't meet any of the criteria, it grows slowly. Now you might think it's good just to get all quickly growing plants, but actually that's not the case because you might have to go down to attack a verm and in that, during that time plants are blooming and the gnats will eat your plants. So it's actually better to have something like two fast growing plants and maybe one medium and one slow plant or two medium plants something something along those lines to give yourself time to kill the verm and then get the blooms I don't have the information for it so I can't say which plants meet which statistics and you could do it by trial and error and making a chart um, I did not do that so we're just gonna guess so I'm going to leave uh, these plants on their default choices here and we're going to just go for the game and play it and we'll see what we get. Okay, so here we go. All right, so this is our Grobot in his spaceship and you can fly him around. <laughs> when he lights up blue, that means you can go down and when he lights up white, that means you can collect a bloom from a plant. So there, I'll collect that bloom. There's a verm. I'm gonna go down and get him. Oh, he's eating that plant. That's okay, I got him. So 250 points, and you see the timer on the other side. So the 4,600 over there is actually a timer, not points. The 250 is my points. Let me get this verm. All right, now I gotta get back up. You'll probably see a gnat here shortly. 
Yep, there he is, but that's okay. As long as you get it before he eats it, you're good. All right, this one's bloomed. Oops. Oh, all right. And uh, looks like that worm was after that plant. It's kind of a very long round. But when I was a kid, this game uh, was very entertaining. So it seems pretty simplistic right now, but for a six-year-old with their first computer and no other way uh, back then, you know, Atari 2600, uh, that was a way to interact with your television screen. This is pretty amazing. Uh-oh, I think that worm's gonna get it. Ah. All right, so I lost some points there. So yeah, so this was uh, plenty entertaining to me. Just like Pong was entertaining to uh, people when that first came out, because it was just amazing to be interacting with your television, even in simple ways. All right, let me get that worm. Okay, he's not gonna get my plant. So if anyone uh, watching this has played Grobot, I'd love to hear your story about it. And then uh, basically it's going to record your high score when the round's over, and then you're just off trying to beat your own high score. Oh, oh no, let me get this worm. Got him. So you can see if you picked uh, four fast plants, you know, it would be very, a very exciting and intense round. So that'd be a way to sort of increase the uh, increase the excitement for sure. So basically, here I have one fast plant and two uh, two mediums, and sort of my favorite configuration is two fast and two medium, and uh, this slow is is too slow. I think you lose out on too many points because it takes so long to grow. All right, my worm's getting faster. Uh-oh. He's after my slow plant. Get me down there. That worm's going for the last plant. All right, time's almost up. Oh, Nat got it. You can see the worm also eats the speed of the plant at that speed, so he'll eat fast plants uh, faster than slow plants. Ah. Yep, 
Yeah, if you had all fast plants, this would be pretty crazy. score. Alright, you can see my uh, score is going down now. You know what? I'm just going to let that one go. Ah, uh, time's up. There we go. So high score, 8,570. And that is Grobots for the Tandy Radio Shack color computer. Hopefully a game that when you saw it, you said, what the F is that game? Hope you enjoyed the video.